Pinellas County man bought a brand new Jeep only to discover it wasn't in brand new condition. Yeah, he was alarmed to discover rust and corrosion on the undercarriage of that vehicle. And when he hit roadblocks getting answers, he knew he had better call Banking and Shannon is getting results. Keith Stacy, Mike Jeffers tells me he has owned multiple Jeeps. He says he has never seen the bottom of any vehicle look like this one. In late July, Mike Jeffers helped his 18-year-old daughter, Kendall, buy this brand new Jeep. On the way home, he noticed something wasn't right. It felt as if there was a problem with the brakes. He took the Jeep back to the dealership in Seminole, Suncoast Chrysler Jeep Dodge Ram, where the service technician noted excessive rust on all four rotors on the Jeep and replaced them. Concerned, Mike went home and crawled under the bottom of the Jeep himself and took these pictures mind-boggling. The rust is to the point where it's actually deforming metal and it's actually um, you can see the corrosion and you can see bolts that would be a nightmare to remove. The dealership referred the matter to Jeep's parent company Stellantis. When Mike says he was offered only a couple of car payments for his trouble, he knew he'd better call Bankin. Here's the thing Shannon, all I'm looking for is what we paid for. I'm not asking for a favor, I'm not asking for anything more than I paid for. I paid for a new Jeep I expect the Jeep to be in new Jeep condition. I reached out to the dealership owner and was told he wasn't sure how the Jeep accumulated so much rust. And this is between Mike and the parent company. I sent Mike's pictures and paperwork to decision makers at Stellantis. Days later, I was sent this statement. The vehicle's condition was an anomaly. We recently celebrated delivery of the five millionth Jeep Wrangler. The current model benefits from an anti-corrosion coating that is 10% thicker than was used on the previous generation vehicle. Further, Stellantis urges its dealers to adhere to a strict pre-delivery inspection protocol. We regret this value customer's experience and are pleased to have reached a satisfactory resolution. A spokesman tells me they are buying back the Jeep, giving Mike a discount on another one, and investigating how this happened. I can't thank you enough. Thank you very much. Nobody was owning this problem. Nobody was empowered to make a decision until you got involved, and then we reached the right person. A Stellantis spokesman tells me they are looking into the routing of the vehicle to determine what happened. I can tell you identification reports that I dug up indicate that the Jeep arrived at a Fort Myers dealership in late December 2022. The, the Seminole dealership then bought it a few weeks later in January. Meanwhile, Mike tells me that this has not soured his opinion of Jeep and he'll likely buy another one. <sighs> what the pre-inventory inspection, the, the inspection, that's kind of key at this point. And Jeeps are cool. I yes, mean, Jeeps are cool, no, are. no question about it. But what happens to this one? Is it still at the local dealership? Is someone able to buy this vehicle? Well, right now it's at the local de dealership. It is not for sale though. And Stellantis tells me that the vehicle will have to be examined to determine what exactly happened. If a systemic issue is discovered, that issue will be addressed, I'm told. It's unclear whether the Jeep will be repaired, sold, as used, of course, or it could be scrapped. It just determines what they discover in this investigation. Right. Well, Stellantis say it's an anomaly. Maybe they ought to bring it back and say, well, what, what happened? They can figure yes. it out. All right. Thanks, mm -hmm. Shannon.